Hi, how you doing? My name is R. Charles, and I'm a professional vocal coach with Fox Studio, located in Vancouver, Washington. We service both Vancouver and the greater Portland area. I've been a professional vocal coach for over 25 years. I have been teaching, instructing, and coaching top vocalists in pop, rock, and country from all over the world for over the past 25 years. Today, I'm going to discuss what you need to look for in a vocal coach. If you're thinking about taking private lessons, then this is going to save you a lot of time, energy, and money. When I started taking professional vocal lessons, I thought every vocal coach was the same. They all use the same techniques, the same mechanics, and boy was I wrong. I studied for three years under a man on the East Coast that just trained classically trained vocalists, and yet I wanted to sing pop and rock. And after three years, I sounded horrible every time I wanted to sing pop or rock. So I sought out information from a lot of people, asked around and said, who would be the best person to go to to correct this problem that I'm having? Singing classical music is really important, and a lot of rock and pop singers, they'll take classical training in vocal lessons, but they don't want to just sing that one style. I'll give you an example. This is what I was trained to sound like. Santa Maria. Now, if you're going to sing opera, hey, that's great. But opera was not my thing. So, after I asked around, I found a name of a man, and I went, interviewed him, and thought, okay, this time I'm going to get it right. And he told me, hey, no problem. I can get this situation corrected for you. Come and meet with me once a week, and we'll get started. So I got all excited, and I went right on in and started taking my vocal lessons and really was excited. And after about a month, I noticed that I really wasn't having any great, you know, epiphany. My voice was still operatic, and I wanted to sound more of a pop and a rock sound. So I asked him, you know, what's the problem? And he said, well, it's just going to take a little while longer. So I believed him, and another couple of months went by, and finally I just got frustrated, and I said, you know what, thank you very much, but I'm out of there. So I looked around again, and I found another vocal coach, and I went to that vocal coach for a while. Things didn't improve, and I went to another vocal coach. And eventually, I did something that you should start with before you choose the vocal coach. I went ahead and I asked the vocal coach to sing in a pop style and in a rock style that I wanted to learn. And if that vocal coach could not do that, then I said, hey, thank you very much for your time. I got to keep looking. And once I found the man that could do that, in a very short period of time, my classical voice changed and I learned the techniques to sing pop and rock. When you sing pop and rock, you're still using the basic mechanics that all vocal coaches will teach you. But it's the style. It's how you form your mouth. It's where you use your soft palate or your hard palate. It's the articulators that you're going to use. I'll give you an example. Here's the gun, pull the trigger, girl, and run, baby, run. That's more of a pop. Because we all live in a world called a this one. A little more style. Here's the gun, pull the trigger, girl, and run, baby, run. Because we What a difference and what a joy. Went from a classical train to a pop into a rock. And it didn't hurt my voice and I can do it whenever I want to. That's the difference of just taking vocal lessons from anyone. Make sure you target exactly what you want to learn from a vocal coach. And understand 
not all vocal coaches have been professionally trained. Some vocal coaches, they just sing well in their own style. But they haven't went to school to learn about how the body works, how your vocal folds are, are, are going to work when you sing, how your larynx are going to be utilized, what muscles in your diaphragm you use, how your tongue is used, how your teeth will affect the sound, how do you articulate the vowels and the consonants, how do you project. There's so much to vocalization that's more than just do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. And there's so many vocal coaches that have never been truly professionally trained that are giving vocal lessons that really don't apply to what you want to do. So, there's a lot of great vocal coaches throughout the United States, and I encourage you to go ahead and ask the, the right question. And that question is, sing for me in the style that I want to learn. And if they can't sing in that style, then look for another vocal coach. Take this advice and use it. It'll save you time, energy, and money, and tons of disappointments. Singing should be something that you love to do. And when you sing, you should not be hurting your voice, your throat. It should be as easy as I'm talking to you today. Thanks for checking it out. Thanks for listening. If you ever want to take a lesson through my studio, you just got to pick up the phone, 360-891-7888. You can check out my web at foxstudio.tv. I encourage you to give me a call. If I can't help you, I'm sure that I can refer you to somebody that can help you learn the style of music that you want to sing. Keep singing, and I look forward to hearing from you soon. Have a great day.